What's up, everybody? This is Rob Barrington here with the Weekly Challenge, and this is the Imps Challenge that we're playing this week. We are once again against the robot, and we have this hand to start with on board one. It goes past a diamond to you. What would you do with this hand, guys? Make your call. And I'm going to make it relatively quickly here. So if you want to think a little more, don't forget, you can always press pause. Uh, this is once paid, folks. It's not strong enough. Some of you might have been thinking about doubling and then bidding. Uh, not strong enough for that, right? Especially with that singleton king of hearts, I would just downgrade that position usually. And now it goes one spade. Partner raises to two spades. Make your call, folks. I would raise, right? I would invite to game here. And I don't want you guys to get too complicated. You could make a natural game try by bidding three clubs. Um, but what I will tell you is the robot seems to have issues with that bid. <laughs> or at least they don't seem to respond correctly in a lot of situations when you make it. I found that the natural invite here is usually the best. And let's see if we buy a good hand from partner in this situation. And they certainly have the correct bid to accept with, right? Or the correct hand to accept. They have a nine count. Right, so this is certainly an accept. Uh, I'm kind of happy to be in game, even though it looks like if we're losing two diamonds, we may in fact go down in this one. So let's hope the queen of diamonds is to our left. It's not. <laughs> so here, I'm happy to be in game in an imp format on this hand, and I'm just a little upset that it looks like we're gonna go down after they cash their tricks. Let's see how many we're gonna get nipped here. Okay, good, no rough on that one. And now you might think, Hey, maybe we can get rid of these clubs. Uh, I would highly doubt it. <laughs> we need to get an entry to dummy, and it looks like these uh, the suit isn't even breaking either. So we'll we'll give it a shot though. We'll we'll pitch a heart, and then we'll play king of hearts, and we'll hope that they duck this club, right? And then the queen of hearts fails. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. We have a little life here. Let's go queen. Ah, uh, no, too bad. <laughs> <laughs> we can't get everything we need on this hand to make it. The, the robot kind of toyed with us here just to let it give us a little hope for a second and then tear it away. Uh, as you can see, folks, with the ace queen of diamonds being offside, and let's jump over to our results. And the uh, fact that we have two club losers, the ace and the king, we have no shot at this one. So no matter what they lead, um, unless they decide to give us oodles of tricks in different situations, um, we're going down one or two, basically, based on certain types of leads. So here... Happy to be where we are. Uh, we just can't necessarily make it. And we want to be in game with a good 16 opposite a solid nine. Partner's flat, though. That's the only downgrade to their situation. But what are they supposed to do? This is a good hand to be in game with a different set of cards or the different location of the queen. We're just cold for this, right? So an imp's important that we do get to these games. And sometimes when we're aggressive, we're just not going to be quite successful. But in this format, it was worth the run there. Let's see the next one. One spade to you. Make your bid. This is gross. <laughs> uh, so here's the deal, guys. This holding is not a stopper, okay? Um, just isn't right queen empty third so if you're thinking about a no trump you're you're right at that 15 and you're flat and also the spade stopper is kind of let's stay away from that so here i would not be bidding a no trump however i would double right i don't want to stay out of auctions where we have the best hand at the table and here when partner bids two diamonds i'd like you to make your call folks right you doubled and i forced you to right so whether you agree or disagree with that you know that's up to you but what would you do now that if I force you to double and it goes past two diamonds pass? What do you do? The answer is you pass. <laughs> you, you've shown your hand, right? Partner knows you have a takeout double and they've only bid two diamonds, which should be zero to eight points. Let's see what the robot says about this. So nine or less, right? So somewhere around this number. So we should know we don't have game and we should also know partner took a preference to their best suit. So we are out of this hand. We're gonna pass two diamonds and we're happy to just be playing it. Now we need to try to go plus with these cards. All right, let's take a peek. Heart lead to us, interesting. And we get very unlucky because partner's second best suit is spades. Right? They have four small spades. So this is a kind of a, a, a gross spot here. But we're going to make the best of the situation, at least the best of the situation as we can. We're going to win the ace of hearts. And at this point, I'm going to cash some clubs to pitch a heart. All right? So let's see what happens here. Let's see if we can get a good break of this suit. We need it to be four, three, or worse. Okay, good. 
And honestly, I'm going to do this again. I'm going to play the Ten of Clubs. I'm going to pitch a heart. I'm giving them a diamond. Uh, but I'm getting rid of hearts. And we know that they're going to be roughing spades to our left. Right? Right. He did open one spade. And here comes a rough to our left. So now we've actually drawn two rounds of Trump in an interesting way. And here comes a heart. We know we can rough that. And now let's see if we can draw some Trump. Uh, I don't know if that's good. <laughs> so so now we should know, okay, we started with 7, 8, 9. That's 10 and 11 right there. Those are two more Trumps. So if we draw one more round of Trump, we're going to take the rest. Right? If Trumps are even here, if there are two left, if they are evenly divided between the two hands, we're going to take the rest of the tricks, which is... That's pretty good, right? That's making two. However, if they are not dividing evenly, they're going to take the rest of the tricks, which is pretty gross, right? So now if if we play a diamond and they have the two good diamonds left, they can draw Trump and just cash a winner at some point. So that means that we will be down two, whereas down one is only minus 100. And I don't know. This is a weird one, right? When we play the nine of spades, if we rough it, we know it's getting over rough to our left, right? Um, but if they have two trumps, it means they can only take one more, and we're going to hold this to down one. This is really tough. I'm going to go for the make. And it's going to be wrong. <laughs> so watch this. Here it goes, diamond, diamond, and now whatever winner they have left, uh, they're going to take, and that's the queen of hearts. Uh, notice that at the end there, let's jump in. That's minus 200. We could have saved for minus 100 there at the end for, for a normal play. Let me show you what I mean. Let's get to this last section here. And I, I might have been wrong for trying to make this, but at this moment, all right, they've roughed their diamond. Now comes the king of hearts and we're in. Now we drew a round of trump. And now notice if we just play a spade and rough it in dummy, they're going to over rough, but now we have two diamonds left in our hand, right? So we're going to take one of those two. So instead of minus 200, we could have gone minus 100. And I'll show you just with the double dummy there. Right, see, the nine of spades is down one, drawing trump is down two. However, however, if that was a false card by our right-hand opponent there and they did have a diamond left, now we went from making it to going down one, right? So here with an imp format, it's usually best to try to make it vulnerable. It might be okay to try to hold it, especially if you're going down more than just an extra one. Uh, but here it seemed like just one extra trick down was going to be worth trying to make this sucker. Uh, so two minus scores, uh, that may not be great for us. I don't know. If they don't uh, compete or if they don't invite aggressively on the first one, we might be losing imps. And on the second one, certainly might be losing imps as well. However, I'm not sure what they would have bid with this hand other than double, right? They can't bid a no. I mean, if they bid a no trump, they might get lucky on this one. If you play a no trump, no, on a heart lead, you're still wide, in, wide open in that suit. And you'll take four clubs. No, I guess you can go down one and, and no trump and maybe down two if they screw up. So I guess we'll see what happens on Friday when we see the results. But we have eight boards left to go in this challenge this week, folks. Join me for the rest of those, and that will be Tuesday through Friday this week. I'll see you back here, guys. Take care.